Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss what is first angle projection. So here, for explaining this, I am taking two diagrams here. First, in first diagram, I am taking x-axis, y-axis. So here, this angle is 90 degrees. Okay. So these two axes are dividing the entire space into four parts. This is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third and fourth. So, first cube, second cube, third cube, fourth cube. Okay, these two lines dividing the space into four parts. Okay, we can call it as quadrant or segments. Okay, so here four segments or four quadrants are there. Now, here if you are taking this axis and this axis in the 3D form. Okay, so this is a vertical plane in shortcut form. I am writing VP. Okay, this vertical line is instead of line, I am taking one plane. So this plane is called vertical plane. Instead of horizontal axis in 3D form, I am taking it is a plane. So this is the horizontal plane HP. Okay. So the line joining both the planes, it is called reference line. Giving the name XY. XY is the reference line. Okay. Here, first angle means whatever objects are given, we are keeping in the first cube, first quadrant. So here also in 3D form, we are keeping the object in first quadrant. So if you are keeping the object in the first cube, first quadrant, how to define the position of the object? The object is above horizontal plane, in front of vertical plane. So that object is in the first quadrant. Okay. So practically I am taking, this is the vertical plane, this is the horizontal plane. Okay. Now I am keeping this planes like this. Okay. This angle is 90. Now here I am taking one object. Okay. This object, rectangular block. Okay, this is a rectangular surface both sides and it has some height i am keeping this object in the first quadrant so how can we define this object is above horizontal plane this gap okay above hp in front of vp now this is the object in it we need to do the front view top view and side view okay so front view means it is in front of me okay in this direction i am seeing this object okay so in the front view i can see this rectangle okay smaller rectangle like this so this image i am seeing here on the which plane vertical plane okay so this rectangle in the front i can see as one <coughs> image here rectangular image okay let us do that one okay it is a front view so roughly i am taking let us take this is the front view okay this diagram i did here Okay, just take projectile lines. Projectile lines means light color lines. Okay. Now after this is a front view. So I will write this is a front view. Now after that, so this is the object. We need to do the top view. Top means from this direction we have to see. In the top view, we can see this bigger rectangle. Okay. At what distance from VP? Whatever distance we are taking uh, after that distance, we can see this rectangular surface. Okay, this is the top view. So where we see the top view? In which plane? In the horizontal plane. We can see the top view here, like this. Okay. So let us do the top view. Roughly, I am doing inside this projectile lines. We are seeing the bigger rectangle. So this is the top view. So front view is coming in vertical plane. Top view is coming in the horizontal plane, like this. Okay. Now these two views we are taking. <coughs> if you want to take side view, okay. Side view means this side is the front view, this side is the top view. Which is the side view? This side we can see. Okay. Either this side or this side. It is the side view. Let us assume I am covering these two planes with one plane here. Okay, like this. One more plane here. Okay. This plane is called profile plane. Profile plane is 90 degrees with the vertical plane and 90 degrees with the horizontal plane. This profile plane is perpendicular to both the planes. 90 degrees means perpendicular to the vertical plane, perpendicular to the horizontal plane. So, I am taking this is a profile plane. Okay. Now, vertical plane, horizontal plane and then this is a profile plane. Here, for getting the side view, okay, if we are keeping like this, profile plane. Now, this is the object. If we see from this side, we can see this image, this image, okay. In which plane? Profile plane. Okay. So what the, what is the side view? We can see this rectangle. Okay. So let us do the side view in the profile plane. 
ओके हियर वी विल गेट प्रोफाइल प्लेन वी आर सीइंग द साइड व्यू हियर इन दिस प्लेन जस्ट रफली आई एम गोइंग विच रेक्टांगल वी कैन सी दिस वन दिस इज द साइड व्यू सो इफ यू आर कंबाइनिंग ऑल द डायग्राम्स रफली आई एम टेकिंग सो फ्रंट व्यू मीन्स दिस वन इन द स्मॉल साइज आई एम डूइंग सो दैट इट इज विजिबल ऑल थ्री व्यूज कैन विजिबल दिस इज अ फ्रंट व्यू and here we are seeing below reference line x y line you can see the topic so this is the topic this is the topic now here also we need to do one reference line here like x y line we need to do the one more ref reference line here we can see the side view side view is nothing but this smaller one okay so on the same projector line we will do this is the side view I took small diagrams, front view, top view, side view. Okay, if you are taking this side view, this side view is for us. It is the left side. Okay, so the, whatever we are seeing, it is a left side view. So this side view is we can call it as left side view. Okay, but here in this diagram, we are doing right in the right side. Okay, this entire diagram is two-dimensional diagram or orthographic projection. Sometimes this diagram will be given. We have to do the isometric view. It is very important. So left side view, right side view, both are important. If you are seeing this side, side view, okay, it is right to us. We need to do this right side view in the left side. Okay, let us do here. If you are keeping the plane here, okay, we can see the right side view in the left side. Always remember, this is the right side view. Okay, let us take some diagrams. So if we are seeing this arrangement, front view, below is top view. This side is left side view opposite. Okay, this side is right side view. It is called first angle projection. Okay, always remember like that. So sometimes you will given some examples. So which is front view, which is top view, and which is right side view, which is left side view. So in it, let us take here one diagram has given. Okay, so wherever arrow is there, it is a front view. Always remember. Okay, the diagram we need to do here. Whatever front view parts will be there, you have to do. So do one x y line below it. We need to do the top view. Whatever top view is coming, do here top view. Okay, here side view means. So this is the side view. This is the front view. This is the side view. Next side. Okay, side view means which side it is? It is the left side for us. Okay, left side view we need to do right side of this front view. Okay, right side we have to do, but it is called left side view. Okay, so left side view we are taking. From the isometric diagram, left side for us. Okay. So here also one diagram has given arrow has given. It is a front view. Below front view it is a top view. Okay, entire diagram. Side view means this side is a side view. One side is front view, the next side is side view. This is for us. It is a left side view. But here we have to do this left side view in the right of this diagram. Okay, reverse. Always remember like that. Sometimes you have this diagram will be given. You have to do this diagram. At that time you do initially front view and do the top view portion. And uh, this view is the left side view. So do left side for us in the asymmetric view. So similarly here also one diagram has given wherever arrow is there it is a front view and uh, about top it is a top view and side view means this side. One side is front view. One side is side view. This is for us. It is the right. Okay. So right side view we have to do in the left of the diagram. Okay. So see the difference here. So this is the right side view we are doing left side of the diagram. So in next class we will see what is the third angle projection.